Welcome to the Interesting Podcast with Jedi Brian number 19. Um, I'm going to try to keep this intro short. This is part two to my talk with a uh, cosplayer, all-around awesome person, Danica Rockwood, um, who's great. Uh, if you're uh, if you're one of my regular listeners, thanks for sticking around. If you're one of the new people here, uh, thanks even more. Danica's awesome. And uh, this talk is, uh, like I said, the second half of... Uh, what we started before she had just come back from a panel um and here we talk about um living with and potty training her super cats which is uh pretty insane um details in cosplay being important uh we both share stories we she talks about what her tattoo says which if you've been following her for a while you know is a uh, quite significant um we do some speed fire favorites of hers the seven deadly questions um, a little bit of realness, a little bit of story uh, between us. Um, it's kind of real, but I, but I think that's cool. It's part of her charm is how real she is. Uh, we talk about how she fractured her wrist, a karaoke story between me and her, backstories of her costume choices. I mean, a whole ton of stuff. You guys are going to like it. Um, so here it is. Uh, without further ado, the interesting podcast number 19 with cosplayer Danica Rockwood. Roll the theme song. And we're recording. And we're recording. All right. All, right, all things, all systems are go all currently. Right. All right. Good. Yeah, I was a, we. She travels a lot, so I was like, oh, we're gonna talk about that for a while. And it great information. She was on. I wasn't. Oh my and god. I was like, no. So, this podcast might sound a little bit choppy because yes. I don't remember what we were last talking about. Yeah, I don't remember. And um, I had to stop the podcast to do for a, a panel. How to was do the a Q and A panel? The Q and A panel is. Um, Pretty good. Yeah. It was me and Carlos Blanchard and I Tenshai Misha and Aaron Flor I can't read her name. Aaron Florence. Is that her name though? That's what it says. No, that's the photographer. Oh yeah. I uh she's cool. She's cool. Yeah. Lady. Cool. I like her. Yeah, I that's dig good. her. She's awesome. She lives in Ohio. That's and, uh, far. She was talking about, she was like, oh, Florida has great locations to shoot at. I'm like, yeah, and you're wrong. <laughs> and, uh, if you're looking for a swamp or sticks exactly or dead what we grass. Said. And we were uh, talking about our Patreon that we ha the Patreon that I have, and a lot of people had a lot of questions about that. And then we talked about, um, oh, I got a 3D printer. Yeah. This I've is, this been is still on topic. About it. Yeah. yeah. The 3D printer is crazy. Is it? It came in a little box, and you would think, oh, big 3D printers, and they come in a tiny little box. You open it, and it's all gears and little pieces and fiberglass and tiny, tiny, bitty things that you're like, don't lose it. Don't let the cat in here, because the cat's going to yeah. ruin everything. And it has been a month, and it, it's it's almost done, but they sent us the wrong motor. Oh, so uh, well, that's fun. We weren't sure, because we didn't know what we were looking at. Sure. We were like, uh, is this the right motor? And it's not. But we tried to make it work because we didn't know any better, and we dremeled the crap out of it and tried to fit it. And then we called <laughs> the company, and they were like, oh, yeah, we sent you the wrong one. Yeah, whoops. It came with no directions, and it came with a bag of jelly beans. Okay. Not the Swedish fish jelly beans that I left over here because I need them. But, yeah, no, it came with a, hey, it came with a little bag of jelly beans, no manual. Just for funsies, jelly beans? Yeah, you had to find the manual online. Oh, I thought you were going to say in the jelly beans. <laughs> no, I was I was like eating the jelly beans while we were trying to find the manual. I was like, oh, no. Oh, these are so good. <laughs> no, I think we'll find it eventually. Yeah, this, while you're waiting, have some <laughs> of these. I don't know why they gave you that, but they did. That's fun. It's a nice little, little thing. I'm excited because I can start leveling up the quality of my props. and. That's serious. That's next level things. And I don't have to sculpt all the time and... How expensive is it to do stuff 3D printed? I think it's like... Because it can't be cheap. 
It's not that cheap. The filament. But the thing is, is you have to weigh in how much time you have to go into it. Like, if you're familiar with how to do 3D modeling sure. online, which I luck out because I know people who are. Sure. And I want to learn, too. And also, there's a... The people that, I don't know if you saw, they sponsored me. It's called My Mini Factory. They okay. sponsored me uh, the Laura Croft pickaxes. Oh, sweet. They are a website that has all the 3D files of just anything. Like, you can type what? in mini, uh, not mini, you can type in Master Chief. Actually, it's funny because they're one just, oh, that's not one. I thought that was a Master <laughs> Chief cosplayer. I was like, that's funny because one just walked by. But it um, wasn't. You can type so. in, like, Master Chief helmet. You got a file. You can contact an artist to make you a file if you want, but or you can make it yourself, but they already have pretty much almost all of them on there, so it's boom, boom, click it, print it. That's pretty cool. But one can argue saying that that takes the talent out of it. However, when you have no choice and there is no file, it's true. you have to make it yourself. Which is a whole different animal. And it's a whole new hobby you have to learn. It's a whole new world. Yeah. Ugh. That's yeah. I have a 3D printed uh, Poe Dameron blaster. I have his gun. Oh yeah. And uh, I haven't painted it yet because I'm I still. I have to paint mine too. Have you ever painted anything 3D? No. Printed? I don't know if you have to like light sand it or something or Probably. how to get the you paint. Probably you have to buff to it and polish it. Yeah, there's. I from what I hear, there's a specific like uh, essentially plaster dip for it that fills in the cracks. Oh. Well, That's what I, I hear. luck out because it's Tomb Raider, so I can weather it. Sure. And so I can be like, oh. That's, Whoops. That was on purpose. Right? <laughs> like, I can just fill them in with, like, white or silver paint. For sure. But sure. I uh, I need to tear into that thing, and I'm... That's pretty cool looking. Yeah. I saw on Snapchat the gears. I follow you on Snapchat. Spoiler oh, I, alert. I, I follow you on Snapchat. Do you? I'm so sorry. I think I'm I I'm weird you. on Snapchat. Wait, do I follow you on Snapchat? I don't, I don't know. know I'm, I don't, very, I'm very strange on Snapchat. Do you, put, do you make stories on Snapchat? Yeah. Then I'm not following you on Snapchat. Oh, you should follow me on Snapchat. Where Where are you on Snapchat? I'm Jedi Brian. Okay. On literally everything. Jedi. <laughs> okay, I have. You'll see my face. I have Jedi Mandia, which oh, is Oh, me not too. You. Jedi Mandia is awesome. Yeah, I like that. Have you seen her Ahsoka? Yes. It's amazing. We're, we're, we're like bros in real life. What? But we've never met in real life. But we're internet, internet bros. bros. That's pretty cool. Like, she wanted to get to 8,000 followers, and I was like, I'll post you. And then we Snapchat all the time. What? And it's, it's like, here's a picture of my face all weird. Yeah. You've seen my Snapchats. <laughs> yes. Mine are weird. Lots of cats. I don't mean to, but my <laughs> cats are too damn so interesting. That made me laugh so hard when your cat's like using the toilet. What is going on? It's Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, every morning I try to go to the bathroom because I had to pee. And every morning the cats sleep on my bed. And they're all like super cute. And they're like, oh, I love you. I'm going to be your friend. Paranoid. Like, I'm just the same. I keep looking at um, Like, just don't touch the switch. They're like, oh, I love you. And I get up in the morning. And they're like, all right, got to go to the bathroom. And they race And they're like, oh, yeah, me too. And I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> Both of you. And then, like, they'll, they'll do that thing on Sna that I put on Snapchat where they'll, like, I'll walk up to the toilet and they'll be like, oh, no way, me. <laughs> and you're like, oh, damn it. <laughs> it should be noted that your cats are human potty trained. They are. They, they know when I have to go and they how go. Do you, how do you do that? Um, Internet. Yeah? Yeah. You just give them the internet and they figure it out? I like to make the internet my bitch occasionally. That's, that's what it's there for. Uh, my, my Liara costume was from the internet. People are like, how'd you learn how to internet? Yeah. Uh, internet. How'd you learn how to toilet train your cat? Internet. They sell these training kits and you can, uh, huh. first it's like a giant plate that you put on your toilet and it's, you fill it in with cat litter. Okay. And then they get accustomed to uh, going onto the bathroom on that from high up. Okay. They're used to peeing down low, and then over time, once they gain their balance and they get used to peeing high up, you can take a tray out from the middle, and sure. it'll have a little hole, so they'll be used to having a hole there, so they shouldn't put their feet in. And then ah. once they develop their balance more and get more comfortable, you can keep taking the layers out until it's just the bare toilet. Huh. And then they got it. That's pretty cool. Granted, it took me like a year. I'm sure. Per it cat? It took me a year. No, not even. It took me a year, and when we got Neo... We got him actually almost a year ago in April. Sweet. Uh, and so he he saw Dexter using the toilet, and he was like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> and when he was eight weeks old, he used the toilet because he saw Dexter do it. And then I took the, the thing off because I didn't want Neo to use it when he got fixed. Sure. So I was like, I don't want you to rip a stitch or anything. So sure. no. And then uh, he, he just went. 
So he, he that's got it instantly. Awesome. Yeah, it's monkey see, monkey do. They're yeah. smart cats. They're not normal cats. No, they're servals, right? They're they're hybrids. So they are half serval, half domesticated cat. That's pretty crazy. Which is why they're very vocal. You feed them they're, like raw meat. I feed them raw meat, and I feed them high-protein cat food with no grain and no filler. That's pretty hardcore. It's very hardcore, and it's very expensive. It's like $76 a bag of oh, cat food. I can imagine. Well, but you get special awesome. cats, you get special food. That's pretty oh, yeah. neat. How would you get into that? How did they get into hybrid cats? How did you get into hybrid cats? Yeah. I we're, we're just like, I want a cat. Wait, I want an extra plus yes, cat. I want an extra badass cat. Yeah. Um, I went to school originally to be a zoologist. Sweet. <clears throat> I wanted to work with animals really badly. And I interned at a lot of wildcat sanctuaries that were nonprofits and or just private. Sure. Um, that mainly specialized in education of animals. Huh. And my favorite cat to work with was named Monty. And he was a little serval, uh, and okay. he was like super cool. It's like an African bobcat, That's and uh, cool. like they're super cute, and they run around like dogs, and they give you balls to play with, fetch with, and there there's like nothing cat like about them except for the fact that they are a cat. Sure. But they don't act like a cat. That's pretty cool. And I found out you can have a mix of the two as a pet, and there's oh. a lot of controversy behind that. Sure. But they are really good pets. Like, without people being like, oh, they're going to pee on everything. They're going to tear your family apart. Like, they aren't sure. They aren't like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They have great. claws. You keep their claws. They do have nails. Pee. There's just things that you have to monitor and be more aware of. Um, but they're extremely intelligent, so you can't sit there and be like, oh, you're just a dumb cat. Don't yeah. scratch the piece of furniture. Like, they know better. Sure. They're, Interesting. Yeah. You can't give them an inch. If you give them an inch, they're going to walk all over you. Sure. So you have to be, like, really military with them. Interesting. Yes. I've always been a dog person. <clears throat> I had cats when I was younger. They and act I had, like dogs. They don't act like cats. I, I had one that I really, really liked. His name was Pinch. Oh. And uh, we, we used to do this thing where he would, like, get on my shoulder and just hang out. And um, <clears throat> one day, I mean, I had to have been, like, 10 or 11. I had him on here, and I wasn't wearing a shirt. And my brother came and scared him. And he clawed all the way up what me. Jerk? And then all the way down me. And from then on, I don't pick up cats. Yeah. I never pick, even kittens, I'm like, oh, hey, and I just put it back on the floor. Like, Neo oh, is funny. Like, we have people that will come over to our house and be like, oh, cool, you have cats? And they always, always want to pet Dexter because he's big. He he's, looks massive. He's in his giant, nest. and he's really pretty. And he looks kind of yeah. like an alien in his face. It's not a regular cat face. No, he doesn't have a regular cat face. This girl's <laughs> really scared of my face right now because it's covered in, like, fake blood. She keeps don't staring Don't make me here. tell you again, lady. Um, <laughs> She didn't know what to do. She's still <laughs> staring at me. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, uh, they want to pet Dexter because they think he's really pretty. Sure. And he fucking hates people Does that he? are not me. And so Makes he'll sense. give you the stink face and be like, don't, don't, t just don't touch me. And um, Neo is like, oh, hi, I'm on your shoulder. <laughs> and you're like, oh, cool. And he's like, oh, I'm on your lap. He's the exact opposite. I'm like, yeah, he's... He's a good cat. He's all over everybody all the time. Yeah. And it's it's pretty cute. But the one thing that I have had a problem with with cosplay and the cats is I did uh, San from Princess Mononoke. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to go all out. I don't care if you're, like, all vegan and crap. Sorry, I'm going to hurt your feelings. Gotta but get fur, I man. wanted to, I wanted to do, like, real fur. Yeah, of course. But it wasn't, like, fur fur. It was, like, lamb. Lamb skin with the fur for the wolf pelt right it and, wasn't uh, like wolf puppy fur it wasn't like <laughs> baby atlantic baby seals seal. that have been clubbed <laughs> yeah it wasn't that but dexter was like when he smells a real dead animal like anything it sets him off and he turns into like a wolverine that is terrifying like, he he growls and screams and freaks out and he like i always like to imagine that he's trying to pretend he's a little race car <laughs> Because <laughs> then he starts growling, goes, and like, oh, he's, and then he likes to run away. I'm like, oh, he's going fast. <laughs> and he's, look at him go. <laughs> like, but he, I came into my room and there was fur everywhere. He oh, tore it apart man. and like he had the whole skin in his mouth and he was like, ah, and he was like, fuck with me, I'm gonna <laughs> fuck you up. And like I was like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna, no, I'll gonna buy go fake fur now. Into your cave, please. Yeah. And then when I work with feathers, if he smells feathers, he freaks out. Oh, man. So, like, my Articuno that I've been working on, he can't yeah. be in the room. He just he goes primal. He spazzes out. And, like, wow. I've locked him out of my workspace room when I'm working with feathers, and his foot will come out from under the door, and his nails will, like, grab the door and just try to <laughs> rip the door out. And we had an old house one time, and we were making Thanksgiving dinner, and it was just me and my brother because I don't have that much family. Sure. And uh, 
he freaked out, jumped like he, they can jump six feet from a sitting position. So he Good jumped Lord. everywhere, wanted on the counter. He's tall enough to grab whatever he wants off the counter. <laughs> and we put him in my room and he shook the whole house by shaking the door. Oh. The whole house was shaking. <laughs> and he was like, like, oh my God. That is actually so really bad. scary. Yeah, he, he can be a jerk. Can you imagine, like, what would you do in that situation if you weren't used to that? Imagine yeah. you're like, oh, we got this really cool cat. It's kind of weird. And then all of a sudden it's like possessed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, another thing, I keep talking about a cat, I feel bad. But no, um, means. one time my friend Mahoney was over and uh, not to get all sad, but he, he passed away from cancer recently. Before well, recently, it was three years ago. And um, he was, he would go and do chemotherapy and then come over to my house and sleep. Sure. before he would get picked up to go down to South Florida. And so he was spending the night, and um, he was all zonked out from medication, so sure. he was kind of like incoherent. And Dexter was walking around the hallway, and uh, he he likes to randomly meow yeah, really yeah. loud. I've had Snapchats where I'm They're talking They're the best, yeah. <laughs> oh, I haven't, even, I haven't nice. even recorded his best ones because he clams up when I'm filming him, and he looks at me. <laughs> but he was walking in the hallway, and he goes, Hello? <laughs> hello and like and like he's like oh oh hello and like Mahoney took his phone and texted me he goes there's someone in the house there's like an Asian man in the house and he was like oh hello oh and I was like oh my god my, my dad my dad used to have this parrot when he lived in Hawaii and he's like you know the parrots are really really smart yeah he had this big one and he says this this parrot would always say hello and it hello hello, and it'd get more, and he'd say it maybe four times, then he'd go, help, help, and just start screaming help. <laughs> He's like, I had the cops called on me so many times. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Hello, hello, help. <laughs> so that's awful. That's so awesome. But yeah, Dexter, Dexter's a, he's pretty funny. Yeah, he looks pretty. He's a very pretty cat. He's a pretty cat. Very expensive cat. Very pretty looks cat. Looks very expensive. Expensive to keep. It's like a horse. Um, yeah. It's almost like a horse. Yeah, but not quite, because horses are really expensive. Yes. I trained horses for a while. That's amazing. Um, I've ridden horses several times. I, I haven't worked with horses in a long time because cosplays kept me way too busy. Sure. But I'm planning on doing shoots on horseback very soon. That'd be cool. I'm gathering the troops of costumes that gather that go along with horses. And in fact, the only thing that's really slowing me down is... um. One of them is like, I'm extremely picky when I see cosplayers riding on a horse. Sure. I'm like, you don't know what you're doing at yeah, all. That's like not your how heels you aren't down, your toes aren't up. That's the wrong type of bridle. That's an English bridle. You're pretending to be a Western rider. What the hell are you doing? Right. So like, in fact, the one thing that's slowing me down is me being picky because the gears for the horses that I can have the ability to ride are all English, and some of the characters I want to do are Western. Makes sense. So I'm like, uh, they're not accustomed to wearing the gears that I need, and sure. trying to figure it out. And so it's it's a little it's a little tough, but that's good though. It's the details that count in cosplay, in my opinion. I'm I'm striving this year for detail. Yeah. I'm uh, really striving this year for detail. I always uh, that's my favorite thing is when somebody gets the details right. Like if somebody's gonna do uh, Owen from Jurassic World, Chris Pratt. If they walk around and they got the clicker, I'm like, that's it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. The be clickers are easy to get, too. It's, it is, but it's so perfect. I it's tried clicker chaining Cheza, and it didn't work out. <laughs> because so she much. doesn't like sounds like that. And so uh, I was like, all right, the clicker means good. Yeah, yeah. So I clicked it and gave her a treat. And she was like, oh, I don't really like the clicker. <laughs> then she kind of braced herself for the clicker, and I clicked it again, and she ran under the bed. And I was like, that's good. It's supposed to be good. And she was like, no, 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 no. I was like, that's out, that's so out. the clicker, she was like, no, no, no. <laughs> she like runs away. But, yeah, I agree with you on that, especially because yeah. it's a closet costume. It's just so easy. Details. Why didn't you just go out? That's why I cosplayed Misty. Yeah, it yeah. It made me so mad. I was like, it's just the shoes, man. Yep, it's true. And, like, I, I don't know. Beautiful. But lately, most of my costumes have been a little bit more on the simpler side because of the commission. Sure. Um, that I've talked about the in the big podcast. One. Yep. And um, I'm kind of getting backed up with like costume blue balls, so I'm like, no, I'm working on other things right. now. <laughs> and um, Tomb Raider is is probably one of my more like meticulous ones. Where it, yes, it could be a closet costume, but the props. The right. props are going to be good. We're actually getting like raw leather and tanning it and dyeing it and making the whole holster from scratch. And sure, it's the training amazing. knives getting 3D printed. The pick the two pickaxes are getting 3D printed. Actually, in fact, the one thing that I do have that not a lot of the other Tomb Raider uh, cosplayers have is um, 
when I went to PAX Prime, I went to the Square Enix booth, and they were like, oh, Danica, we've recognized your stuff. And I was like, no oh, oh. way. <laughs> and I, like, peed a little. Yeah, just a little. And they were like, here you go. And they gave me, um, God, I can't remember what their names are. They're, like, these keychains that, like, you use when you're mountain climbing. Okay. Um, the, I know what you're talking about. The circle things. Yeah, the, the silver ones, they clip. Uh, Laura in the game has those, and engraved on it says her name. It says uh. Laura Croft on it. And then uh, they gave me them, and Whoa. they were like, "Now you got a head start." And they like gave me those those clips. Dude. And every Tomb Raider character that I've seen from Rise of Tomb Raider doesn't have those. Sure. And it was like, and you got them. From I the know, because the freaking game company told me, and they they were like, "Oh, it's engraved. It's perfect. Done." That's was amazing. Like, after I got that, I'm like, "All right, this is gonna level up. This is gonna be that's really pretty cool. Legit. I'm, I'm for it. I, but that's also because mm. I'm like super OCD. So I'm like, if I can't do it justice, like I won't." Yeah. Like right now, I have a beard. I'm not gonna do a character that doesn't have a beard. I just want, like per my personal preference. I just won't because like Castle doesn't have a beard. Yeah. Like Malcolm Reynolds is one of my favorite costumes that I have, and I'm not gonna wear it if I have a beard because Mal doesn't have a beard. It's just exactly. You know what I, I like mean? I like the beard. Yeah, I dig it. It's kind of. I didn't know I could do it, so I was like, yeah. I can't grow a beard either. Yeah, I. Uh, I'm surprised I can. I've tried. I'm glad you've seen a. Did you see the picture of my dad? Yeah, <laughs> and his beard, and he like talked about his beard. He had. He, uh, nobody's friends with me on Facebook because I don't add people. But my dad, my dad's actually like of Viking descent. His grandparents were like born in Scandinavia. That means you are too. He's my stepdad technically. Oh. I was like, oh man, so close. He raised me from when we were like six. I could have been cool, but now I know. I'm just. Ugh. I'm an adopted Viking. Yeah. <laughs> but he like his his grandparents born lived in Scandinavia. He'd go visit them. Like he's deceptively strong. Like he. My dad's going to be, I don't think he'll care. My dad's going to be 70 this year. Doesn't look it. Looks like mid-50s. And he is so strong. Like, people are like, oh, my dad's strong. No, no, no. At, like, mid-60s, he lifted a transmission with his hands. Like, we had to move it out of a backyard. He goes, yeah, just pull the car up. I was like, what are you talking about? 60, 65 years old. He just, Jesus. Gah. It's like, you know there's a special tool pulling system. He drinks system. blood every morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's a funny story about that. Um, not necessarily drinking blood. But all growing <laughs> up, I, all, the, all growing up, I used to joke around with my friends. I was like, "He's got a battle axe somewhere." Like, I don't know where it is, but oh, look he at does. him. He really did. When oh I was my like, God. when I was 17, when I was like looking through his closet or whatever, he has a battle axe with like a skull in the middle and double blades. That's awesome. And he's like, yeah, you know. I was like, actually, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I've talked about this for years, and it's real. I have a. My family has a coat of arms. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Rockwood. Yeah. It's a pretty badass it's a, name. It's a very English last name. Like when I changed it, everybody's like. Have you seen Zach and Mary make a porno? No, but I'm oh, going to very soon. Oh, my God. I it's listen to Jay and Silent Bob get old. Yeah. And they mention it all the time. Yes. It's a great movie. Um, there's a part where uh, Jason Mewes goes and auditions for the porno. And um, he says his name. God damn, I forget it. And he was like, my name's like, I, I don't, I'm just going to try to shoot. He said, I don't know the last name he says is cock and stuff. <laughs> and they're like, oh, great. What's your, what's your porno name? And he goes, I can have a porno name. <laughs> and then he like makes up this name that's not even pornographic. It's just lame. <laughs> and so like that's how I felt when I went from Dally Thomas sure. to Danica Rockwood, because people were like, like uh, when I met David, I told him when I when I um, met David, I was under the he messaged the Dally Thomas page. All right. And I wrote, I was like, oh, my real name is Danica Rockwood. And he goes, oh, it's way more badass than this fake name. It is. And I was like, I know, but. I didn't. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I wanted to. I don't know. And sure. uh, he goes, "No way! It's way cooler." So I. I that's it not is. why I changed it, but. It's pretty. Cool I like name. the name way better. Well, it's your name, so. It's mine. It's mine. It's pretty cool. I used to want to change my name when I was like growing up. Yeah. It's always like. Right. Oh. Right. No, 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 no! I had to stop to do a panel. She did a panel, and I recorded yeah. over there. So we picked it back up. Oh. You know. I have two. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about them. Listen the to the episode. The black one is the Savannah. Y'all been waiting for this interview on your podcast. It's coming. It's all your time. That uh, one, we talk, it's explained. It's explained. <laughs> it's recorded now. It's recorded now. Oh, thank God. Are you talking to right now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, it's all Joe good. says hi. Joe, you're probably listening to this if you are. Hi, hey, Joe, Jamie. from the past. <laughs> Those are crunchy. Those Future are crunchy Joe, what's up, man? <laughs> Future Joe, I hope you've continued I'm to lose Danica. weight Danica. since you started. Danica, how you doing? That's Good. all. Bye, Brian. Yes. 
Um, but yeah, he was like, oh yeah, your real name's Danica. As a way And he was like, like the race car driver. And you're like, oh no, my God, like everybody, Rockwood. Everybody with the race <laughs> well, car driver. Well, because there's only one other Danica. There's like six things I get automatically told to me on a daily basis now. Race car driver? Oh, you're the race car driver. What's your tattoo say? How long are you going to be cosplaying? <laughs> What's your favorite cosplay? No pants. No pants. Okay, what's your tattoo say? So you'll never have to answer this ever again. It says, wherever I am, you'll always be more than just a memory. Okay, that's all you get. You don't need backstories. I don't need backstories. That's all you get. It's like a Batman backstory. Yeah, it's a Batman backstory. You don't want to hear it? No. I know the answer, and I'm not going to make you tell it. <laughs> so There's that's your Facebook answer. There's a Facebook post on it. There's a Facebook post on it. Look it up. I like to be mysterious. She likes to be mysterious like Batman. I'm as mysterious as the Hungry Man dinners that you put in the microwave. You never know what they're made of. You never know what they're made of. They taste all right, though. Just all right? All right. They look like they taste putrid. They taste all right. You don't oh. like them? I'm a hungry man. I've never, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. I've never tried it. Yeah, it's it not bad. It scares me. I don't want processed meats and stuff. It's uh, It tastes kind of like meat. Sort of kind of like meat. Yeah, I mean, if something kind of tastes like chicken, don't. I don't need to know what it is. Just tell me it's chicken. Just You just imagine that it's probably chicken. That's right. If it... Slight chicken taste. All right, I'm for it. There you go. You I don't know. know. I've been watching what I've been eating lately, other than the fact that you and I have been eating a full Just load of a ton of candy. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching what I'm eating. Yeah, I'm I'm totally you're eating watching the food go into your mouth. <laughs> but uh, not today, because it's it's Easter. It's Easter. No, it's tomorrow. Not. Yeah. It's pre-Easter. It's it's a uh, Easter Eve. What's your favorite food? My favorite we're gonna, food. We're gonna sushi. ask the hard questions. All right, we're gonna go rapid fire. You ready? Favorite okay. food. Let's go fast. Okay, favorite food. Sushi. Favorite color. Red. Favorite Brian. No, it's not. It's purple. Damn Brian. Are we gonna read these questions off? These are stolen from the Gonzo Radio thing. Seven yeah. deadly questions. You can't okay, look. Seven Here deadly we go. Men. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> if you could sleep with anyone, celebrity or not, man or Ryan woman. Reynolds. Living or dead, who would it be? <laughs> Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, he's your main celebrity crush? Oh, my God, yes. Really? Yes. That's a good one. Okay. A, okay. I have a giant Let's thing for uh, orca whales, not sexually wise. Not no, at all. It's you're not weird. into orca whales no, in I like a weird way. I love orca whales. They are like one of my favorite real animals. That's a good question. Um, Side note, what's your favorite animal? Orca whales. Okay. <laughs> orca whales and hedgehogs. Uh, a good one. I love them. Or and porcupines. I like spiky animals. But, uh, yes, I like orca whales a yes. lot. Okay. And he did a documentary about a friendly orca whale in Canada, and he produced it and narrated it. And oh, I was like, dude. That was it. Yes. You had me at orca. I love dragons. Sure. And I don't remember exactly what it was called, but he did a movie about dragons. Okay. Or, like, there was dragon in it. Um, also, in also? Blade, He's he has Hannibal. an affair with a girl named Danica. And, and that I was, was it. And I was cleaning my house. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I had it on in the background, and he goes, oh, Danica, she's such a crazy hot bitch. And I like, walked out, and I was like, oh, <laughs> my God. The stars my aligned. Name's, and my you're name's like, oh. weird. Like, it's my different. My name doesn't pop up. I don't know a lot of Danicas. Came up and saw there was a girl named Danica who died in the freezer. That's a way to go. Which is, like, about my life. <laughs> you're like, I died in a freezer once. <laughs> I totally would die in a freezer. Uh, it's freaking cold in there because I'm from Florida. But, and then, uh, yeah, and then, and then Ryan Reynolds and Blade. That's that's actually perfect. You're like I loved him, and then I just hear him say my name on TV, the and I just the whales, know. the dragons, and he said my name. He did. He said my name. That's good. That's a good one. Natalie Portman, all day, every day. All day, every day. All day, every day. Since in I was like eight. Black Swan, Natalie Portman. In almost everything, she kind of scares me in Black Swan, but I'll deal. It's kind of hot. I mean, if you're, it's weird. It kind of freaks me out, but that's okay. Yeah. Thank you, Natalie Portman. Yes, I think it'd be. I think it had to be Ryan Reynolds in. Uh, in that really bad movie he did with uh, Green Lantern. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the proposal. Oh, Sandra Bullock. No. Yeah, that yeah. was, was a really Sandra bad Bullock? movie. Yeah. Yeah, it was Sandra Bullock. He's good. Did you ever see Best Friends? I <laughs> love that movie. Suit. I love that movie. <laughs> I love that movie. I love that movie. I have that movie on DVD, and I know all the lines. That's to a it. good one. He's so yep. great in that movie. So Ryan Reynolds in the proposal. Okay. He's just an awesome guy. I'll say. Or Deadpool. Yeah, he's yeah. good Deadpool. Pre or post grossness. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. All right, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I'll say Natalie Portman, episode two. I was like feisty women. Or Catherine Winrick. Do you watch Vikings? I haven't, but my roommate's been watching Lagatha, it. Lagatha, dear God. Is she the redhead? She's the blonde. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, she's hot. Oh, my God. Hot does not even cover it. What I like girl strong. would I bang? I'd bang Kate Beckinsdale. That's a good one. That's a good one. She'd be on my list. I, w I would bang her. She'd be on my list. A lot. 
<laughs> a lot. And then uh, Jennifer Aniston. Yes, America's Sweetheart. Like, I like Jennifer Lawrence quite a bit, though. Oh, yeah. I no, like I want to be Jennifer Lawrence's friends. I don't want to make it weird and ruin our relationship. That's a good point. That's yeah, a good point. I don't, I don't want to do that. What about Amelia Clark? She's pretty hot. Daenerys? She's pretty hot. More cowbell. <laughs> All right, that's great. <laughs> uh, um, okay, next question. Next question. What is your number one all-time favorite pig-out food? I'm just going to say food. Favorite pig-out food? food? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me tell you a story. story. It's not really a story. But um, since I've been, not today, monitoring, <laughs> monitoring what I've been eating, like I've been doing clean eating with like squash and, and like lean meats. Gross. And all that crap and egg whites and just going to the gym five times a week. Mm. I have this weird fantasy that I want to take a giant pack of Oreos and crush them with my hands. Okay. And put them in a bowl and dump milk in the bowl and eat it with a spoon. That sounds amazing. I know. I thought you were going to get way more weird than no, that. No, no, no. Like, I, I got this fantasy just of just like Oreos crumbling on my head. Yeah. No, just, no. That's no. weird. Okay. Maybe maybe Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, right. Yeah. He but can crush Oreos or on your head. Or Kate Beckinsale <laughs> crush Oreos on him. Like, you know. <laughs> He'll put Oreos on them. <laughs> <laughs> Not sexually. I just want to put Oreos yeah. on them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I want to I want to eat the crap out of that. That sounds okay. awesome. That makes sense. You see that internet meme? It's like a, a cereal, but it's just Oreos in a bowl of milk, and you like mm. eat it with a spoon. You ever seen no. that? No. Yeah, it's like why didn't we ever think of that as kids? Oh my god. Because you always you know dip it and get your fingers all well, cold. They have, they have Oreo O's. Well, oh no, there's a Oreos there's were a hack. okay. They were there's okay. There's a hack for that. Oh, the you just magnet? take a fork, and you stab it through the cream, and you dip it into the milk and put it in your mouth. Does so you don't it get work? Your fingers though? all messy. But is it? How does that work? Because um, I always like, I like it basically crumbling apart. Oh, I don't so like do I. it like, eh. So like, I like you to just, quick you stab it through the cream, so it's holding the cream and not the not the cookie part. And it doesn't fall off? No. Have you tried it? Yeah. Weird. I feel like it wouldn't work. I like I like putting it in, and like it's like a steak where you know it's like medium rare, well done. Sure, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> when the bubbles stop. Yeah. After exactly. You, exactly. <laughs> when the bubbles <laughs> that's stop, that's when I take them after out. After you've done murdering the cookie. People in, a, people in America have Oreos, but not in, like, Australia and New Zealand. What? So if they're listening from there, they don't know what the hell so we're talking about. So sorry. Yeah. But definitely okay. want to put Oreos in a bowl and eat the crap Oreos. out of them. Oreos. Okay. Um, some people collect cards. Some people collect people. What is your one must-have thing? I don't really understand this question. I don't understand it either. Do you collect anything? Um, not really, no. I, I used to collect... Back when the quarters had all the states on it, I would collect oh, each yeah. state. Now they're like monuments and everything. Yeah. But then I then I slowly used all the money. Did you have the map? I had the map, but then I was like, oh, look, a dollar, and I took them all out. <laughs> 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 Did and, you at uh, least collect them all first? I collected them all and then used them. Okay, well, at least you collected them all. In fact, that's how I named my town in Animal Crossing was uh, dollar I town? took the map out, oh. I closed my eyes, I swung my hand around and pointed, and I got Iowa. Oh, there and, you go. Uh, I named my town in Animal Crossing, Iowa. That's amazing. When I was like 13, but um, that's a little Danica trivia. That's a, that's a good trivia. Uh, but no, I don't really collect anything because I move a lot. Yeah. Uh, or I did, and I really don't want to be weighed down by. That makes sense. My collections. That makes sense. I tried collecting uh, Funko Pops of every costume I've ever done. That's a pretty cool idea. And then I got really annoyed with it because when I was moving, I'm like, where am I going to put these? That's a good point. So and I what if they don't make a Funko Pop of a costume you're making? Yeah, exactly. They, well, they they have before. Oh, There's a lot of them that they haven't made. They don't have a Triss one. They don't have a Silk one from what I know. They don't yeah. have a Bastila one. That's true. So it's like, ah. Uh, I feel you. I collect. I'm trying to collect a Jedi temple patch from every temple in the Legion, and the Rebel Legion. Yeah. And I collect Qui-Gon stuff. Qui-Gon's if it's great. got Qui Gon on it, I'll buy it because one, he's my favorite character. Like, changed my life as a kid. Uh, but two, it's really hard to find Qui Gon merchandise because it's all from 1999. Yeah. So if I find it, I'm like, oh, sweet. So I have, I like, have a, a shelf. Pizza Hut thing toy of him. Do you? And then I have one of. Uh, Did, wait, is it the one with the orb? You press it and it lifts up? I think so. And they fight? I I've got the Tatooine one. I don't have the Nebu one. I have the. Um, my brother and I had the one that was like a mag. I know my brother's going to listen to this podcast. Hi, Blake. Hey, Blake. Um, he had, we had the ones where the, they had magnets on their feet. Yes. And you can take them and flip them, and then they would land on the platform Ooh, that had magnets. And we had Qui Gon, cool. and I always wanted to be him. I we still want to be him. I actually considered shaving my beard into his style when I shave it. Yeah, you I should. I could do it. I thought of, like, in my past life, if I wanted to look really alternative, 
to do like a cool shave on my head and leave my hair long so I could have like a little Jedi braid. Do it. When but, I was uh, 12, I'm not I grew going one. to do it. <laughs> I grew one out when I was 12, got bullied a bunch. I was like, I don't care. I'm a Jedi. You guys are stupid. You got bullied? Fuck them. Oh, man. I never told you. No. My childhood was rough because of bullying. Like, hardcore. That's so messed it was up. Awful. And so now I have like zero tolerance for bullies. Sorry. But yeah, so it worked out to where. Got bullied a bunch, and then I realized, wait a second, I don't really care anymore. And that's why I love Star Wars so much. I'm like, wait, yeah. I don't care. I like what I like, and I like it a lot. So it's another reason Star Wars is so important. But, yeah, I had a Jedi braid and everything. I thought it was awesome. the coolest thing in the world. And everyone's like, yeah, I don't think so. And I'm like, shut your mouths. I had a, I had a pretty dark childhood, too. Yeah. We're not going to get into that. But, yeah. That's but what makes us cool. Knights of the Old Republic helped me out a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. Um, I would I would get grounded all the time by my stepmom. Just, just dumbass shit. Like, sure. There's a spoon in the sink. You're grounded. She actually told me that I wasn't going to be able to get my driver's license because there's a newspaper on the counter that my dad put there, and I didn't take it off the counter. Oh, my God. That's not even – I'm not going into the dark parts, but this like to other people that don't know the story, they're going to be like, oh, that's so dumb. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard life, right? Yeah, but, they don't um, know. They don't know what we've been through. I was all the time. I would sneak into my brother's room and watch him play video games. Sure. And, like, as – Coming from uh, childhood abuse and other stuff, sure. I knew that if I stayed around my brother, he'd be a witness. And so the more I stayed around my brother, the more I watched him play video games. Smart. And um, the more my stepmom or anybody else couldn't hurt me because my brother was there. Sure. And so I, I started, I watched him play Knights of the Old Republic. And uh, the best part ever was, do you know the hack about Revan being a Twi'lek? Yes. And not Revan. The dancing? Uh, Malik? Yeah. yeah. Yes. The first time... It's a dumb thing. My brother was like, hey, Danica, get in here because I need you to press buttons while I press buttons. And I was like, <laughs> all right. And so I, I walked into his room. And he's like, hold these buttons. And I did. And then Malik turned into the dancing twee like at the end. And I was like, what is this game? <laughs> I need to play it. And so I played it. And I fell in love with ever. Karth. Karth was like my first crush ever. I'm doing the Karth. I've still got all Thank the you. pieces. I'm just waiting, <laughs> I'm just waiting on, a, on the jacket. Oh, yeah. I remember you're waiting on that for a while. Yeah, it's been a year and a Jesus. half, maybe. It's going to be a little more. But, yeah, and then I got into Basila, and um, I actually don't like Basila at all. Oh, she's yeah, she's bitch. awful in that she's game. She's such a bitch. Awful. I made her fall in love with me just to spite her. Yeah. I'm like, you're going to fall just, in love with me. I just think that it's so, like, fickle how she's like, I'm going to turn to the dark side. And then you're like, right? don't, I love you. Oh, okay, never mind. Right? Or, I didn't need your help. Uh, clearly you did, because you've been a prisoner for like three days. Uh, she was very naive. <laughs> yeah. And very dumb. But I, I just wanted to pay tribute to that. Yeah. So I, I, uh, Knights of the Old Republic was a big one for me. Actually, one that I don't celebrate too often, that a lot of people might not know, is Fable, the first game. Oh, my God. I played so my much. Jam. I played like 50 plus hours on that game. Fable was amazing. It was the incredible. The first one. I never played all the others because it sucked. Don't. I, was like, I, I played 10 minutes or two. I was like, this isn't Fable, and walked out. Yeah, I mean. One was so good. It was brilliant. I had, it needed to be longer. I had a wife in that game who gave me the best sword in the whole game as a present. Even better than the one the, inside the demon wall. Really? Yeah, bet, like almost twice the damage. There's another one that is um, when you get up to uh, the mayor, yeah. the, the bitch mayor. Uh, what's her name? The one Lady you got to get her a black rose. Grey and all Joy that and yeah. Fucking Game of Thrones. Lady Grey. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's there's a shop in there and there's like the badass sword and it's so expensive. This this one was cra it was like super long and had like a weird end and oh, yeah it was a like, gift. There's a red one. It's like red. It's like what? blood red colored and it's twirly and weird looking. I that love that game fable, so much. So good. I like oh. enveloped myself in that story. <laughs> Loved the Balverines. The Balverines were yeah. my favorite. So badass and like I really wanted to do a uh, gender bend um, which wouldn't matter anyway. A uh, uh, Jack. Oh, sure. And uh, with, the, with the mask the and everything. Jack of spades. Jack of spades, yep. yeah. But the thing is, is that no one really know who I am because not many people are a fan of me putting a mask over my face. So Do like, it ah, anyway. Never mind. That's how I believe. Yeah, I mean, I may just make the mask because I yeah, like it. Yeah, you should. God, I love that game. It's incredible. Animal Crossing, Fable 1, Knights of the Old Republic were like the games I rotated amongst yeah. for the darkest moments of my life. That's what you need. I, I, was, all I always remember, and I, I attribute it, I always bring it back to Qui-Gon, because it's like legit, eight-year-old awesome. me changed my life, because he says to Anakin, he's like, remember, your focus determines your reality, and I was just like, oh my god, Yeah. and I was just like, what? it's seriously true, whatever you're thinking about at the time, that's what's real to you, and you yeah. can block out all the other stuff by focusing exactly. on that. Exactly, that's so a good I, point. I, like, I would get that tattooed on my face, like, it, it changed <laughs> my life that much. 
And I think about it all the time whenever I'm going through something rough. I'm like, wait a second. It's not real if I don't make it. You know, you can get your head out of it. Yeah. If you choose to, which is really, really hard sometimes. But it's you're meditative. not. It's meditative. Yeah, absolutely. So it's really neat. But More on to questions. the next one. Okay. Uh, what, do you, what do you love to try and get out of doing? What the fuck does that mean? Next. <laughs> would you? <laughs> who would you just love to punch in the face? Ooh. Zach Snyder. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Jesse Eisenberg. Kanye West. Jesse Eisenberg. No, he. I didn't. hate Jesse Eisenberg. He, Something about him and everything he's in. Oh, I thought you were gonna critique him about Superman. Oh, I, I never thought he saw did a great it. job being the Joker. He, uh, he just, Zombieland. Uh, oh every, yeah. Everything. Yeah, he was in Zombieland. His natural tone of voice just sounds like he's complaining. Like I don't Peter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the only thing I've ever liked him in was Now You See Me. Because he was less himself. I haven't seen that movie. It's good. It's really good. I enjoyed it. But something about Jesse Eisenberg. I just. And then in the trailer, when I heard the red capes are coming, I was like, I'm out. I can't do this. No. When I when I went to um, when I went to get my head cast uh, for Liara, the guy who made the head cast for me did all the special effects makeup for Zombieland. Yeah. And um, it was really cool because... He wasn't bragging or anything, but he had all these movies and all these horror movies that he's done. And when we were waiting for the drying times, he's like, I'll put Zombieland on. And I was sure. like, I want to see it. I want to see you talk about it. And right, it yeah. Really Sweet awesome. little commentary. Yeah, so he commentary. He's like, yeah, I did that part, and this part was a bitch. That's and awesome. Like, so we watched it. But I thought that he did a brilliant job being the Joker. Yeah. And not, not um, I don't want to give a spoiler away, so I'm just going to call him Lex Luthor right now. Yeah. Because I don't know if that is a spoiler or not. Sure. It's um, in the trailer. Yeah. Lex Luthor. Yeah, so like, yeah, not, a, not at all. Well, Kanye West, I'm punching the Kanye face. Kanye West, I punch uh, the face. Kim for Kardashian, sure. you get a punch in the face. Yeah. Um, Let's see who huh. else. Donald Trump. Oh, oh, definitely, <laughs> man. Holy shit! Yes, he gets a punch in the face. Uh, everybody who did everything in Belgium, the terrorist attacks, yeah, gets a punch ISIS, in the fucking dick, all the way around. And in the face. And in the face. You get the face. I punch the dick simultaneously. Deal. All right. It'd be like a Falcon duo. Um. Um, I'm not going to work today, Alarm. Yeah, no work. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, those are good punches, right? What else is a good punch in the face? There's a lot of people I want to punch in the There's face, but I'm not going to say yeah, it yeah. on here. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to think of famous people that, but definitely Zack Snyder this weekend, you get a damn punch in the face. <laughs> God, you ruined that movie, man. Yeah. I'm not yeah. over it. Punch in the face, show. I feel like I had a bad breakup. <laughs> like I'm not over it. All right, next up. Uh, doesn't have to be famous, just has to be real. Who do you trade lives with? I don't like that question. If you could be someone for a day, who would it be? Because like, uh, that's like, why would you want to envy somebody else's life when you have your own? That's a good point. And you're okay. like, dude, I'm living my... That's like the whole question of if you had like no budget and you could do whatever cosplay i'm like dude no i'm living my life man that's a good point um so for one day then but for one day uh i want to be russell crow yeah any particular reason or just because he's russell crow russell crow in gladiator <laughs> so like only on, on set not like in real life that's my life i'm a gladiator you like, just want to be on the gladiator be set? On set of gladiator being russell crow and being like I'm a boss. That's a good one. That's a good one. I would want to be an actor on set of a film. I wouldn't want to be that actor in general. I've done that before. Yeah. I would want to be Nathan Fillion. Oh, of course. Because he has so many famous friends and does the coolest stuff. If you could act in a movie, and like, what movie would it be? Star Wars. Oh well, I mean, I know. Oh, day, come on, Danica. What What kind of question is that? What (laughs) what other movie? Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. There's going to be a lot of Star Wars. So There's like any other Actually, one. you know what? I'll put that to the side because I'm going to be in Star Wars. <laughs> okay. Like for sure. It's going to happen. All right. One way or another. Um, uh, have you ever seen Tucker and Dale versus Evil? Oh, yeah. I'd like to be in something like that. There I want to be in something. I love Alan Tudyk. He's like a big hero of mine. Yeah. Um, so not Star Wars. I mean, obviously Lord of the Rings, but they're not around anymore. You're probably more likely to be computer animated yeah. than you are to be in that movie. Um, I don't know. That's a good one. I wouldn't want to be in a superhero movie because I'm not a superhero. I don't look like a superhero guy. I like the antihero. Yeah, yeah. I could do. I could do crazy. I could do the guy who's like red mist. <laughs> you know. I like 
a Deadpool movie would be really fun. Yeah, I could do that. Do a, do a character in there. Deadpool um, movie seemed like it was a badass yeah, set to be in. For sure. I mean, I'd love to be in an X-Men. Some sort of X-Men Good thing. one. Just That's to be surrounded one. by other superheroes yeah, or the man. Avengers. I'd want to do like a superhero thing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But I'd want to be like the anti-hero. I feel like being Silk in a movie would be boss. You know what would be neat? To be Coulson. Oh, yeah. Just go into all the superhero movies, talk to all the superheroes. <laughs> That's funny. Coulson. Um, How about you? <laughs> Russell Crowe and Gladiator? <laughs> Your I feel like answer? Russell Crowe and Gladiator would be super fun. It would be. You get Joaquin Phoenix. Yes, yes. Being all weird. Um... Hmm. Strike that. I want to be in a Western. It's on my bucket list. That's a good one. I want to be in a Western. I want to be in a Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah? Yeah. Any Clint Eastwood? Like Gran Torino or like a Western? <laughs> well, most of his are spaghetti Western inspired. Yeah. Oh, like his like older stuff, not like his new Just like yeah. slight comedy, dark, dark, like, vibes and just fucking blood everywhere. That'd be good. That would be fun. That'd be like a Tarantino movie then. Oh, that's what I meant to say. God damn it. I mix up Clint Eastwood. I got you. I got you. I mix up Clint Eastwood and Tarantino all the time. Tarantino would probably be a fun set. I think it's because they did Gran Torino and I mixed that all up. Yeah, because Gran Torino. Gran Tarantino. Tarantino. <laughs> that's why I mix it up. If that, that movie sense. never existed, I would have had my priority straight. That makes sense. That, makes sense. that movie yeah. fucked my life up because now I can't say things right. <laughs> I worked at the movie theater when that came out, and every single old lady that walked in walked out crying. Oh, my God. Every really? single one of them. Oh. Watching Clint Eastwood die just gets those old lady hearts. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just remember seeing Gran Torino, and he was like, don't touch my car. Just yes, get off my lawn. <laughs> yeah, it was so, something like, get off my lawn. And, like, I just remember him being grouchy and crotchety, and it was just great. I mean, in another world where I know kung fu. Oh, man. I feel like that's a good start to anything. That'd be great being um, a kung fu hero. Movie. Hero, that's a good one. Yeah. The Jet Li one. That's a, that's a really pretty film. It is. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is a beautiful movie. I think Hero's my favorite. Hero's very the good. The water fight. Oh my oh, god, the water <laughs> fight. Have you seen this season of Daredevil? Not yet. Okay, I had a problem with my bank and they oh, screwed up my debit god. cards. But I'm going. I I uh, I have my real debit card now and I can punch it into my Netflix. Netflix and watch it. It is phenomenal. I'm season one was very good. Season two puts all of it to shame. It's incredible. What do you think of uh, Jessica Jones? Yes. I didn't like it. Good. Me neither. I didn't like it at all. I thought David Tennant was phenomenal. That's what I've heard, and that's how I feel about the Superman I thought, movie. Yeah. <laughs> I thought David Tennant did a very good job. I love Luke Cage. I did not like Jessica Jones. No, I didn't like her either. I mean, she like I get it. I just don't like the character. She just like it, it, she's just not a likable character, and not even in like an unlikable, likable way. If that makes sense. She's just bleh. Yeah, I just didn't. Like, I, didn't I didn't know what it. her power was really, except for it was like really strength, super strength. She can push people. Yeah, she can she can jump really high to simulate flight, and she has super strength. That's it. Whoa. Yeah. Right. Ooh. I had the. I didn't. I didn't have the flu, but I had this weird thing where. I just had a fever and my head was congested, but it wasn't like the flu or anything. And it was weird. Sure. And so I was like bedridden for like a week. And I was like, let me pop in Jessica Jones. And uh, I had to tweet on it because yeah. I'm really active on my Twitter. Yeah, I know. And I, and I wrote, yeah. I tweet at you sometimes just so your followers can see you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. It's that conversation we had last night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't mind. As, as long as it's comical, I don't care. I, it's entertaining. I do that with all my cosplay friends that are big ups. I'll just send you texts to be like, hey, guess what? I'm friends with these people. <laughs> but um, I, uh, I tweeted about it, and I was like, hey, guys, when does it get good? And they were like, oh, you got to, like, watch, like, seven episodes until it gets good, and then by that time you have four left. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> um, and I was like, I'm going to go uh, watch something else. Yeah, it's uh – like I said, David Tennant's amazing. Just, the show is just not great. I like the part where David Tennant walks into the house and he's like, this is my house. Kid, get in the fucking closet. Yeah. And he's like, all right. And I was like, whoa, awesome. And then he didn't show up for another two episodes. Nope. Like, Are you serious? He's terrifying later on. Terrifying. I didn't get, I didn't get that far. I will say the, in, the last episodes are worth it for Tennant alone. He gets If dark. we could go back to the, to the famous people, David Tennant's on that list too. Yeah, people you yeah. want to switch lives with? Yeah, that, I bang him as a doctor. Oh, okay. He's the banging. He's the celebrity crush. Tenet. Yeah, he's the, he's the English one. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he's the. We're going Congress. by countries. Yes, we are now. <laughs> I don't really know everybody else. Um, okay, next question. Uh, 
Okay, this is all you now. What is one thing that you've done that you want everyone to know about? I fractured my wrist on the Jurassic Park riverboat ride at Islands of Adventure. Did you really? Yes. Okay, how? Um, I don't know if any of you guys have been on that ride. Oh, yes, I've been on it. Oh, you've been on it. Oh, all yes, right, several good. times. So I got on the ride, and it was like the first week it opened. And we were going on the ride, and it was freaking awesome, and it was cool. And I had a weird phobia of roller coasters at the time. I think I was like 13. Sure. And I, I, I didn't want to let go of the lap bar. So I was like really on it. I do the same thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's the only ride I'm still afraid of. Do you do you plant your feet like you strapped to where I planted you're not and moving? I grabbed the bar, but that was not my fault of what happened. Yeah? But to explain better, I was really on that bar. So I and uh, <laughs> I was really on that pole. And so the T-Rex Spoiler alert, you see a T-Rex, and you drop really far down into the water, and it causes yes. a giant It's like a 100-foot drop. It's terrifying. Yeah. It's scary. Afterwards, you just cruise in where you get off the ride. I had my arm kind of chilling on the bar, but I was the first to get into the ride, meaning like a whole row of like 20 people were on next to me. I had to wait for them to get off before I could get on. Sure. And uh, when I went to get up, uh, my arm got jammed into the seat in front of me. Oh. And my it was my right wrist. And my whole palm was touching the inside of my wrist. Oh. And it was flat. So you and, didn't um, even break it on the ride. You broke it getting off of the ride. I broke it, broke it getting off the ride. That's, that is and not a cool the story. the worst part was that <laughs> there was a really heavy set woman that couldn't fit to get out. Sure. And so when she got out, her, her ass like bumped the, the bar and the bar was locking. So every time someone bumped it, it locked more and more and more. And oh, I was no. like, I, I, I can't scream. I can't scream at all. I can't either. Yeah. You're the first person I've ever talked to who can't. I'm a girl that can't scream. Um, oh, I actually guy. yelp like a dog that got his foot stomped on. Yeah? And it was so painful that no sounds could come out of my mouth. Oh, man. So my whole family's like, all right, to the next ride. And like they're like looking around, and it took them a while <laughs> to realize I wasn't there. I'm kind of flat on there. And they only realized I was there is when the ride was going to collect the other people. And they're like, oh, this girl's kind of stuck in here. And I was, my, my jaw was just open, and I was like, oh! oh and they man. had to get the ambulance to come in and pop the bar out and uh, let me out. Wow. They had, they had to take, like, x-rays and stuff. That's it was amazing. It like a hairline fracture, but still. <laughs> and it wasn't even on the ride. No. I was like, on the way down. It was, all, it was when we were done. Getting up. Get and, like, I don't touch that damn lap bar when I go on that ride. I'm terrified. And all the yeah. dinosaurs look like they have TMJ, and their jaws are all <laughs> popping off, and the, the ride yeah. needs to be updated. I, I hug it, double arm, and the legs planted. I don't still? move. Oh, yeah. Fine. Oh, wow. It's because I'm a, I'm a smaller dude. And I always feel like I'm gonna fly other rides. Oh yeah. So I hate roller coasters. There's a bunch of roller coasters where I've been on, and yeah. the lap bar doesn't come down all the way I need because I'm, I'm a double zero pant size. So it's like oh, I'm gonna pop out of this yeah. thing. Yeah. I just, where it becomes I can't a do battle, it. and it's not fun anymore. I my girlfriend loves that. Like when you're in it, and then you lift up a little. You know, like your body's up it. She loves it. I was like, I hate that feeling. I feel like I'm gonna die. I've just now <laughs> trusted that feeling. Yeah. I'm like, oh okay. Me, I'm like, nope, nope. I'm gonna fly out. Something's gonna happen. And uh, I, I've ridden the Jurassic Park ride quite a bit. I remember the first time I ever did it, I didn't know there was a drop. Oh, my God. And I was with some people, and they're like, all right, get ready to get your picture taken. So I'm like, all right. And they're, like, smiling, getting ready. And then the T-Rex shows up. And if anyone's seen the ride, it's a terrifying look. You look down a hallway, it's all dark. There's fog, and then there's just a T-Rex looking at you. And it's like, Rah! And I was like, huh. Oh. So the smile faded. And then right before it bites you, you know, you see the fall. So my face went from, like, a smile to, oh, to... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like screaming, and I can't scream either. There's no even as a kid, like I can't scream. I got chased by a dog once on my bike, and I was just like, ah, 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 <laughs> like that's my scream. I can't scream. That's amazing. I've never met anyone else who can't scream. No, I can't. So my my I rode it with my dad one time, and my dad's got a belly on him, and he sat next to me. So he clicks him, and I was like, I could stand up right now. I could get out of this ride. So I'm like, uh, I'm like snaking around this <laughs> bar. <laughs> I'm, my butt's not even in the seat. I'm just attached to the bar. Yeah. Like, I'm going to fly out. He's like, no, you're fine. It's oh, like, God. Right, just hold me. <laughs> we uh, we did the ride again, like, a couple of years later, and I was still terrified of it. Whoa. And right before the photo and said, like, how your face changed. Yeah. Oh, I buried my face straight back into that lap bar. <laughs> so it's like, it looks like I'm asleep at school. My head's, like, down. <laughs> like, I'm out. <laughs> they want to look. I have a friend of mine who does this. Oh, on gosh. all roller coasters, like he's bored. His cheek looking bored, <laughs> like he's scrolling on the internet. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, my dad, my dad wanted to press charges at Islands of Adventure after that because they didn't have the safety video up. 
Uh. And my dad's like, I'm suing everyone. <laughs> you broke and my daughter. I was, I cried and I was like, you can't sue them, dad. Because <laughs> then you I can't like come dinosaurs. back. I like dinosaurs. And he was like, he was like, no, uh, we're going to get our money back. And there we got like passes for a couple of years after that instead. Nice. And I was like, I like dinosaurs. You can't sue them. And <laughs> he was like, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. And like, what's your favorite dinosaur? Um, there's a is a long name for it, but it's basically it's essentially a Velociraptor, but it has longer claws on its legs. Okay. Um, and they pretty much do everything. I forget what it's called. I used to read a little book. Velociraptor about it. Plus. It's like a Velociraptor, and I like I like plesiosaurs. They're cool. Yeah, they they're good. Me. Triceratops all day every day. Triceratops. I like so many dinosaurs. I love tri. I, I love can't even triceratops. remember all the names of them, but I really I really was into. I was I was way upset when I saw the first Jurassic Park because you get one Triceratops and it's dying. It's like, <laughs> what is this? This is the weakest dinosaur. And then in the second one, you see it like attack their camp, but it's a bad movie. I was like, oh man. So then the third one, you get no Triceratops. None. But then Jurassic World, there's Triceratops rides. You know, they got the little baby Triceratops yeah. kids ride them. I was, was like, cool. the amount of money that I would spend to be able to do that yeah. is ungodly. Like, I would give you my salary if you put me on a Triceratops. I went to the Renaissance Festival. Yeah? And, um, Did they have a Triceratops? A couple of months ago. No, but oh. it's kind of almost like this a little bit. Yeah? Sort of. Sort of. Uh, I was wearing Triss from The Witcher. Okay. And I had a friend that was I had a friend that was Yennefer, and there was nice. a girl with me, and we had, like, That whole is Katira. Katira. Yes, Katira. I know of her. She's awesome. She's, she's my gym buddy. She's great online. I think she's we're internet friends. She's great. Great. She is. Uh, but we were we were riding a camel. Camels are awesome. It was great. I love so riding, we were riding the camel, and the lady was leading the camel around, derpy ass camel. And I hear someone go, "Is that Danica Rockwood?" And I was like, "Yes, it is." <laughs> yeah, on damn a camel. right. <laughs> I had my fist in the air like Breakfast Club. That's was amazing. It, and it was great. But I would totally ride. That is, that, that is the best place to get recognized. Where would they recognize on a camel? Or like that one time at that bar. Yeah, I got recognized at a rave. At a rave? At a rave. Why were we at a rave? Uh, Hodor was DJing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so that's my place. But a camel, that beats any story I camel, got. Camel, um, every place I've been recognized in public has been weird. We got recognized when we went to that place yeah. with the karaoke. Yeah, which we talked about on the old podcast. Yeah, the one that doesn't exist. So uh, just because it doesn't exist, we should probably reiterate on it. So me and Danica went to eat at this place. There's karaoke going on. We tried to find a different place to eat because that find place a was place. too loud. And we walked in and realized it was not our jam, so we walked out. <laughs> and we were, <laughs> like, we were like, no, this place is too weird and loud. Let's go find somewhere else. And everywhere else was closing and yes. or wanted, like, I got back from a photo shoot at the beach, so it was all sandy and gross. And we walked into this Indian restaurant that was saying that we, you weren't allowed to have any shirts on that didn't have sleeves. And I was wearing a tank top, so I was like, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> And we went back to that karaoke bar. We did. And I was like, we're going to sit front row the karaoke. And Brian tried to walk to a quieter place. And yep. I was like, nope. Nope. And the second we walked in, they're singing the ding song. They're singing my ding Yep. And so we were singing along. That's when we knew that we were going to be there. And uh, we were ordered food. Yep. And then when the ding guy went away, this other person got up and started singing Nickelback or something. Stained. Stained. Yep. Yeah. And so uh, everybody was singing along to the ding song, but no one wanted to sing along to Stained. It was a song outside by Stain. And then you sang it. Which I was my middle school jam when I had, had no taste in music. I still have it saved on my phone. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was like, Danica Rock, would everyone. Yeah, well, I'm on the nobody. Yeah. <laughs> nobody. Nobody wanted to sing along. And so the guy who was singing it, I wanted him to have some friendship. And she gave him some friendship. So I screamed the song lyrics Scream. so loud. You, you can hear I'm it. I'm on the outside. Louder than the guy with the microphone. Louder. Way louder. I was in theater. It's because so. he wouldn't give you the microphone. And yeah, so then he came over and uh, Brian was like, dude, you should take the microphone from him. <laughs> and so he he put the microphone in my face to sing. And I, I grabbed it and kind of tried to pull it towards me. And he was like, not letting me He did me not let it, it go. And then meanwhile, I kept hearing these people behind me say something, and then I kept hearing my name, but I was ignoring it. And then I, I think I looked at you, and I was like, did someone say my name? Yep. You're like, I don't know. And then um, after the guy was done singing, they showed me their phone, and it was a picture of me as Jade from Mortal Kombat. And they're like, is this you? Keep in mind, this was not at a convention function. No, it was this at a restaurant. At a restaurant randomly. And I looked over, and I was like, uh, yep, yeah. that's me. <laughs> and they were like, oh, that guy on the microphone? That's my dad. Yep. I was like, uh, was I just jamming out with your dad? Yep. 
That and, guy's um, name was Brian. And then uh, we left. And he and, followed us out. And he followed us outside <laughs> and asked for my number. Yep. And you gave and him. I gave him uh, somebody else's number. <laughs> and I found out that he was. Oh, wait. No, I'm going way too far. Yeah, we he, skipped uh, a little bit. You forgot he, about his beautiful wife. Yeah, he had a beautiful that, wife. Of and he 30 kept years or something. Yeah, he was saying that he was with us for 30 years. And then Brian and I were sitting together, and he was like, you guys need to get married. And, uh, and then you said you said really clever thing, too. Thanks. You were like, yeah, we're practically related yeah, or something. Yeah, and I was, I was like, like, that's my sister. He was like, oh, okay, you taking care of her? I was like, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was really clever. And um, I'm pretty good on my feet. There you go. <laughs> and so he was like, oh, yeah, you know. I married my wife after, like, one date or something. Yeah, something crazy. And then he's like, and I love her, and I'm happy with her. And then meanwhile, when we left, he asked for my number. And, and then, then texted he was you later. texting that number, like, hey, baby, what's up? Yeah, like, karaoke's next Friday. Make sure you're here. Yeah, super hardcore. I think the next, day was, the next week was Thanksgiving. Yep. Yeah. But anyway. Anyways. Those are the questions. This is going to be a special two-hour podcast, so that'll oh, be cool. Okay. This will make up for the... The lost the, episode. The tribute the podcast. Greatest, the greatest podcast in the world. So you are working on... I'm working on a clone trooper. Yes. And a storm trooper. Holy crap, I thought it was just one. No, it's both. I'm doing an episode three clone trooper, which green markings is 442nd. I'll show you a picture. Uh, and an episode four original storm trooper. Oh, I thought you were going to do... Uh, if you do the uh, episode seven, you could just... You could just... The space Nazis? Be, uh, you could just be... A regular one, or you can grab like red temper paint and just smear it on the mask and be, be like, Finn. I'm Finn. Yeah. Now, if I ever did an episode seven, I mean, obviously, I'd love to do Poe because Poe's the man. It's my favorite character in Poe's episode the seven. Shit. I love everyone. I ship but Poe and Ray. Oh, dude. I, I want Poe and Ray to get together. I want so Ray and bad. Finn. I gotta say, Ray and Finn, man. I, I love that. That moment in the castle. Oh, well, yeah, Ray and castle? Finn. Yeah. If, if, if it's not Ray and Finn. Yeah, I like Ray and Finn. Oh, no, not Ray and Finn. I thought you meant Poe and, and No, what and Poe and Finn? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> whole. Because I thought they are going to get all gay and it'd be cool. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no Ray want, and Finn. I want uh, Ray and Finn. No, wait. I want yeah. Poe and Ray. Yeah, Because they both know about ships. They do. And, like, they, they have so much in common and, like, he can wink at her and shit and he'd be, like, Han Solo and all I that mean, crap. I mean, look at him. He's dreamy. Oh, yeah. He's good. I'd bang him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Poe Dameron. Just, just like, <laughs> what sold it for me was... Not even two minutes into the movie when he gets up and he starts sassing off to Kylo Ren. Yeah. Who talks first? I talk first? You talk first? <laughs> yeah, I was it's hard like, to understand oh. you with all apparatus. He's like, talk to me. And he's like, no way. I, I can't hear you with your freaking mouth like he that. Was, he was my favorite. The second Finn is like, I'm going to break you out. He goes, why are you helping me? Because it's the right thing to do. You need a pilot. I need a pilot. <laughs> the line when he goes, we're going to do this. He gets so excited that they're breaking out. I was like, this guy is my favorite. Finn, every time. You could just tell he's so excited to be in the movies. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. then, like, every he's time a huge fan. he did, like, love a shot or, like, something cool, I just envisioned him watching a basketball game and being yeah. like, yeah! Like, oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah. I, I, I will meet him one day. I can't wait. I you, have you seen Attack the Block? No. Oh, my God. Write it down. Okay, what is Attack it? the Block. Attack the Block. Watch it ASAFP. As it soon is, as fucking possible? Yes. It is okay. amazing. It's the, it's the first big movie John Boyega did. It's what gave him his start and got him into Star Wars. Really? It's amazing. But I, I really ship, I really ship Ray and Poe. That's okay. Because I, I think that's I accept your too shipment. perfect. I, I accept your shipment. It's, I want Ray and Finn, but still, I'm, I'm for it. Attack the block. Uh, yes, attack the block. It is amazing. Not attach, attack. No, attack. You'll really like it. And then watch it and then tell me how you thought about it. Because it's very good. I wrote good. it down. Very good. Okay. You wrote it down. She wrote it down, everyone. I wrote it all over. Everywhere. But if I was going to do episode seven besides Poe, I'd probably do General Hux because I look like him. I shaved. But they're space Nazis, so I kind of don't want to do them. They, I, did, they did a whole Nazi thing. I have this weird thing where I don't like bad guys. I think it's much harder to be a good guy. I get a lot of um, people on my Patreon being like, when are you doing a villain? Yeah. And then uh, they're like, like... It, my issue with being Basila was that she's so hero that yeah. she basically protested a little too much because she went to the dark side for a second. Sure. Which I think was the whole point. Yeah. But she's so hero. She's only one or the other. She's never in between. Sure. That it's like, oh, just look stoic. Oh, just, and then when we did the versus photo. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 
First, the picture was a little awkward for me because we had to be so close together. So I couldn't really like lean into the saber because if I leaned in, it would throw off the other balance of myself sure. fighting myself. Yeah, yeah. And so it was awkward because it's like, be light side Bastila, which Bastila is always so naive that she's like, I'm the coolest and I don't have anything embarrassing about yeah, myself. She, psh, and I got so under control. She has to be like in control and yet on the light side. And then the dark side Bastila is still the same being like, I'm cool because I'm dark. Like she's like a yeah, poser kid. For sure. And so it was really hard to contrast those two. I can so imagine. It was just like, uh. so Bastila is my most boring character, but she's the closest I have to a hero, really. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at my banner to see. I haven't really done a villain. Yeah, um, I'm okay with that. I actually, I wasn't planning on doing a Freddy Krueger costume. I was going to a show. Spooky. And nope. It was Shock Pop. Shock Pop, yeah. And Robert England was there. Sure. And uh, Envy was like, dude, you need to do Freddy with me while I do Jason, and you go meet Robert England and he actually probably wouldn't have done a good job at that photo as if it wasn't for Robert England because I met him and I, he was like cackling and sure. being such like an oddball and being like, ha ha, get with it and just being weird. And I was yeah. like, okay, so he's kind of silly. Sure, um, yeah. So I just got to laugh really hard. Which is good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm getting judged by a little kid. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> she saw my. She saw my. Uh, Your no my, pants. My, my no pants and judged me. It's a little. Like, <laughs> She's like, don't you look at that? <laughs> she told her mom not to look at a picture of me. Um, but, but I uh, really, I really liked that he was just I, like so crazy and into yeah. it. So like, when but I was doing the boiler room picture, I just kind of just did that whole like villain death stare. Sure. And then David's like, no, you gotta like intimidate. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. So, as opposed to like. Bastila, just stoic stare. Right. Freddy's like, ha ha. Like, yeah, he Ed messes with people. A face but and like delirium psycho and. Yeah. See, I love it. Like, like it, I mean, it's artistic. Like yeah. Freddy Krueger, that's a really good picture. But you don't connect with Freddy Krueger as a character. You're not like, no, oh, no, he's no. my favorite. No, like, no, no. No, he kind of raped children. But yeah. some people like love that. You know what he I mean? Kind of turns people into meatballs and yeah, eats them. Right. And those people I get worried about. They're mm. like, I just love everything about the Joker. I'm like. Do you have you read the comics? Because he he, he kind of beat like Robin to death with a crowbar. Kind of like shot and, and paralyzed blew him up Barbara with his Gordon. Mom. Like he murders people and then thinks it's really. Is that your fate? You like that? You yeah, know what I mean. Your thing. But like, then again, I take things too seriously. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like with Silk. Yeah. I, I connect with Silk a lot. Sure. I mean, I was bitten by a radioactive spider. You were. And I, I was locked I've heard in the lab. It. But yep. like she's she doesn't know <laughs> she wants to be the hero or not. Yeah. She um was bitten by the radioactive spider the same like same one as Peter Parker and so there were two of them but she got taken into a laboratory right right and so Spider-Man gets her out and is like hey dude right those spider people and she's like fuck you and right beats the shit out of him and then like it's all awkward because you can't tell as to why they're not because they both have a spider connection if they're like if they're gonna be shipped or sure. if they're gonna fight and like it's just, it's she's really cool because she's trying to find out everything about herself and she doesn't know what she is. And, right, which and is cool. Meanwhile, like her family gets taken away, and uh, she's like, "Where, uh, where's my family?" Sure. And when I was in the scientific lab, and they're like, "We're not going to tell you." And it's right. Like, oh! Which so is that's great. That's where it's like angst. But then, like Miranda, I have vendettas against people, people who have abused me. Sure. And Miranda has that with the elusive man yeah. in Mass Effect. Right, right. She um. That's why we did the elusive man picture with the chair. Right. She doesn't ever get to kill the elusive man. Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> um, but the elusive man has this chair, and he's su he's such a boss. Like he's a boss, <laughs> badass, sure. bad guy. And uh, he sits in this chair, and he'll like telecom like in and be like, "Hi, I'm here," but you can't find me. But the only thing you can see is him sitting in that sun chair. Right. In the background, and you're like, "God, I want to kill you," and he's like, "Ha." -ha. And you like log off, and you can't find his coordinates until like Mass Effect Three. Right. Oh, and like man. he, uh, well, Miranda's in this corporation called Cerberus, and like she's basically genetically perfect. Sure. In every shape and form, and she fucking hates the elusive man in Mass Effect Three because of what he's trying to do and genetically modify her sister. So right. she's like, I'm, I'm gonna fucking kill you. And so like I, I had an idea. I was like, why don't we have her sitting in that chair? 
which is awesome. Because I was like, that's like that's like Daenerys in the throne. Sure. I was yeah. like, this is my chair. And which so, is like, great. Actually, the face, the face I'm making isn't me acting. Right. That's me hating my fucking suit. <laughs> I hate how my suit feels. Gotcha. And I'm sitting like that because that was the most comfortable way to wear that suit. <laughs> And I'm also like really sad about the way it fits. And then David goes, oh, you look great. And then when I looked at the picture, I'm like, actually, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it does, it does. <laughs> but most characters I pick is like, Miranda, I don't want to like her. I hated sure. her in the games. Again, Bastila and Miranda, my sure. two favorites from most of my followers. Right. Love those two. And it's like, they're characters you love to hate. Bastila like, was my favorite out of all your costumes, but. Thank you. Star Wars. But, and, you, and you're the best basketball I've seen, which is really cool. There hasn't been that many. There hasn't. I'd say maybe three or four. I only years. know of one, and we've only talked in emoticons because she's <laughs> German. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> she's funny. But I need to fix Basila up. She's falling apart. Fix her up, and then I'll get Karth sometime in the next, like, two years, and then uh, <sighs> we'll link should. it up. Yes, you should. Be good. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this up because we're right. at uh, – I think we're two hours. <laughs> Boom! Makes up for the greatest podcast in the world. That's that right. Had. This isn't the greatest podcast in the world. This is just a tribute. Yes. Where can people find you online? The internet. The internet. Type in Danica Rockwood in Google and you will find me. I'm the same way with Jedi Brian. Literally yeah. everything. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Same. Same. I will sign up for new social media networks just to get Jedi Brian. I, like Kick? I don't even know what Kick is, but I know I'm Jedi Brian on it. Good. <laughs> All the time. That's a smart thing to do. Yep. I'm paranoid it, that if I ever get popular enough, my name will just get stolen by other people because they're dicks. That's what David Love. David has this, like, a couple of photographers that are go under the name of David Love Photography. Oh, really? And they haven't updated their profile since 2013. Ugh, it's so frustrating. And so when you go to tag him, it's not the right David Love. I noticed that because I've tried to tag him in certain posts, like when I share some of your stuff or anybody else's, like, yeah. photo by David Love, and it doesn't It's come awkward. Up. It's awkward how you tag him. Ugh, that's lame. But anyway, anyway yeah, Google Danica Rockwood. You will yes, find it. You will you find will. me. On everything. Snapchat Danica Rockwood. Snapchat Danica Rockwood. Instagram, Twitter. Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. Twitter's O Danica Rockwood, isn't it? Yeah, it stands for official. But if you type in Danica Rockwood, that's the handle. Like, oh, okay. That makes sense. So you'll find me. Sweet. Well, thanks for talking to me for too long. Thanks for talking with me. And, and hitting the record button. Hit the <laughs> yeah, now press record. <laughs>